Whoo, it smells good in here, like yeah. Christmas time. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. I'm gonna make these last few candles and I'm going through all my stuff. After this job here, I'm gonna get rid of a lot of my stuff. Nobody's gonna come on in here and buy this. I don't know, if I, if I keep this back here, maybe somebody would make candles, but I doubt it. See, I have all this, now, for lack of a better word, shit. You know, save it. Save it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll sell it as a candle kit and right. we'll make a story out of whoever takes it. All right. Okay? All right. Sounds good. Because, you know, you saw my colors here. Yeah. You know, those are all different colors. And uh, over here, I have uh, all different flavors. Yeah, yeah, you know, I remember both the red sides, hot cinnamon. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. so do you, you know. take a lot of like old candles and melt them down? Well, candles that like like here, over here. This is this is all. Ooh, yeah, doesn't that smell? Nice? <laughs> it smells like Too cough bad. cough syrup. <laughs> That'll get rid of your coughs. Yeah, it sure will. <laughs> you take a, you take a little bit of that. It'll coat your throat. It'll coat the throat. So is that wax as well? This is all wax. Yeah. Hmm. Now this will melt down to about a quarter of a tub. Now why do you have the bricks and then the different types of shavings? Wax. It's different. Yeah. So what's the difference? Why is this different from that? That form? is, um, yeah, this is just regular paraf paraffin is the right word for this. Mind your beeswax. Yeah, this is paraffin wax. <laughs> and. This is soy wax. Soy wax is a softer wax. Okay. Soy wax would be something that you would use for uh, uh, candles that were going to stay into a mold. What I like about this is that the lines are on the inside too. Hmm. So when I get through with this, I'll drop it. You'll break the glass. I'll break the glass. And then you'll have a nice and then I'll formed have a, candle. A beautiful formed candle. Oh, cool. Do you find this garbage picking and yeah. you just find yeah. like yeah. like things? And that these you are the last of them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use all these up. You know, I'm gonna I don't wanna make a ton of candles today, which is usually what I'll get out here. I'll I'll come on out here and I'll make like thirty candles, forty candles. Wow. So, That's just a nice mug. Yeah. The high so, noon saloon. So we'll make that a beer mug. We'll make that a beer mug candle. Cool. Yeah. So you were making candles back in the coasties. Coast yeah. yeah. That's what got me interested in it. I would find driftwood on uh, the Northern California coast and it was all redwood. It was beautiful wood. It was like a petrified wood. Mm. You know, it lasts forever. Yeah. At the state that it was right then. As long as it wasn't constantly exposed to weather. Yeah. You know? So what I'm doing is I'm kind of cleaning out these uh, these containers. This is a beautiful wax. That's what I really want to make most of the candles out of. Wow. The D. Yeah. The candle scientist. <laughs> the candle magnet. Professor Candle. Now, I was in the Coast Guard station back in, I don't know, 70, 71, 72, and I was making candles there. I was in this old wooden kitchen of this old wooden lifeboat station. All of a sudden, I had a fire. I had a fire, man. It was, it was all over everywhere in this kitchen. And somehow, I put it out. The Lord was with me. Don Gallett burned down the Coast Guard station making his candles. Yeah, so today's plan, well, Dad makes candles, is for me to go off with a friend of mine, Chad. Chad is one of uh, three of my core group of best friends. You know those friends from high school that you can never let go of? You might not see for a long time, but they're always going to be your buddies. Today we're going with Chad. We're going to go to a Middle Eastern restaurant and uh, grab some grub, and he's really excited to catch up. Today's batch of candle is, is flavored, what was it, tangerine? Berry, berry tangerine. Berry tangerine. We have a number of flavors to choose from, from Wild Cherry, Luau Party, Merry Mint, Lilac, Cinnamon Stick. But I like the tangerine. Not as potent or as sweet as you would think. It's a very fresh, fresh scent.
This is your root beer. Now, how are you going to do the froth on the top? Uh, White? I'm, yeah, I'm going to do it with a soy wax. And I'm going to pour it really cold. So it'll gonna, be, it'll be rough. Yeah, I want it to be like wavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had a few people asking to send some gifts and things to my dad. What, is, what do you want, dad? Love, <laughs> just love. <laughs> send me your love. Which you have been doing in the comments section. Amen, amen. Can I give them the Caring Bridge link? Sure, to? absolutely. All right, my, uh, my stepmom set up a Caring Bridge page. Basically, you could just wish them good and uh, put down some, some positive thoughts, and, and that, that's good enough. So I'll leave that down. My friend Chad should be showing up any moment now. I will be leaving Dad to his own candle-making devices. Howdy! Am I allowed to record? Yeah, I, <laughs> I figured. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to have. Hey, Rizzo, how are you? Hey. You want to say hi to Dad? Yeah, I do. All right. Oh, God, wait till you go in here. He's got all sorts of flavors and things. They want to say hello. Cool. Uh, smells so good. Hey, what do you say? <laughs> hey, Chad, a little wax. How you doing, bro? You doing well. Hi, Mary Beth. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So you're making some candles? I'm out here making candles. Yeah. <laughs> smells I can great. smell it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mary Beth back there said, hey, check out that truck with the, what is that, about 60 pallets on it? Like China? 600 pallets. <laughs> They'd be hanging off the side. These go two across here, but they do a three across. Take a, take a lane and a half. Anyways, this is Chad. Hello. Chad is uh, one of my core group of friends from way, way back in the day. We met in high school. He's a uh, lieutenant at the fire department. And I joined the fire department, or attempted to join the fire department because of this guy. <laughs> you diverged me from the path of... For, for a moment. <laughs> from uh, biochemistry, thank God. You gave me something else to do. He saw, I posted something on Facebook a few days ago that said, is there nothing greater than hummus or something like that? Because I love hummus. And he's like, hey, I know a really good Middle, Middle Eastern restaurant. I'm gonna tell them the story. So yesterday, I was driving around um, uh, with with my dad and we were uh, pulling off on an off-ramp and I had to merge from one lane to the other lane I turned on my turn signal there was more than enough room but a car that was a little bit farther back noticed that I was putting on my turn signal he sped up really fast to try to cut me off at the pass I was able to squeeze in with more than enough. he didn't didn't even have to hit the brake he didn't even have to hit the brake. He just did not squeeze me out like he wanted to. So my dad and I moved into the lane and I looked in my rearview mirror and this guy was flipping me the bird so angry. He was yelling to himself because I couldn't hear him. But he, if you were in that car, there was a there was some yelling going on. He's flicking me off. Then we pull off the off ramp, which is why I needed to move over. And then he pulls up alongside me and, and flips me off. I roll down the window and give him a big wave and a big smile. Hopefully that kind of made him feel oh, even more showing, angry. Showing your joy makes them more angry. Yes. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Again, I wasn't videotaping. Just now, it happened again. Only, unfortunately, uh, Chad wasn't quick enough to squeeze in. But the car squeezed up. Actually, one. Like she won. Yeah. yeah. C congratulations on your on your on one, your win. One car length ahead. Yeah. You you won one extra five meter distance, and she was still flicking you off, and she pulled up alongside us and hand out, and the bird. The amount of road it's rage. Wave. The amount of road rage that exists in America is. I just don't understand it. You go to China. I was I was saying to my dad, if that guy went to China or this this girl went to China. I think her head would explode. She would drive down the street and people would be cutting in and everything and she would be angry and flicking people off and a lot of times when you when you do that, when you flick somebody off, you're, you want them to get angry too, right? You're flicking them off so that they'll get angry and it's like a perpetuation of anger. But Chinese people, they just don't care. <laughs> it's, they'll cut you off. They will be the do the dastardly thing and then you'll yell at them but they'll just drive with a stone face they'll they would not understand uh, getting flicked the bird and I think that would just piss everybody off even more not acknowledging not acknowledging I'm not saying this 
that I want it to happen, but hopefully it happens again and the camera's on. Because I keep forgetting to record it. I guess I'm so used to that kind of stuff happening in America. Lebanese Bistro? Yeah. We have arrived. It's funny, this girl's baking bread behind me. She's so angry. She thought I was recording her. There's a weird thing here in America. Vlogging ain't as easy as it is in, uh, in Asia. People are a little bit paranoid. Kudos on the hummus. Not kudos on the hospitality. Nobody likes the guy with... Nobody likes the guy Nobody likes the guy with the camera. In China. What are you videotaping? What? Oh, where can I see it? Ooh, ooh, that's cool. Whoa. But here it's like, are you videotaping me? No, I'm videotaping the bread. Calm down. I just uh, got dropped off. What a weird, really strange. There is, there is animosity towards people with cameras. I don't know where that is. It's, it's a real paranoia. I think people are really paranoid. They think that somebody's gonna steal their image or, I don't know. It's real anger. I'm getting anger on the street. I'm getting anger from the public. In China, you say you're a YouTuber and people's faces light up. Anyways, we're back. The aroma of butterscotch is everywhere. That D. Startled me back. Sorry, did I make you mess up? I did that by myself. Hey, how you doing, bud? Zed Jello, can I drink it? Sure. Wow, look at these. Yeah. Smells, uh, smells sweet in here. That came out really nice. Super nice. It even frothing over the edges. Yeah. Yeah. Root beer float. Yeah, we all have our hobbies, eh? Things that keep us busy. This has always been an interesting hobby for my dad to have, though. That. It's pretty creative. Yeah, my dad, with this busy shop, the one thing that he's always pressured me on is putting things back from where I, I got them. Because pick something up from here and put it there leads to bad things. And my dad gets really annoyed. forward a little bit in the day. Shop. Dad is, uh, yeah, after we had just finished making the candles. Oh, okay. Dad was watching those videos I made. Yeah. And uh, he's like, get the camera, I wanna talk about this. So I'm, I'm curious, either you're gonna say, stop filming me. No. Stop with that stuff. No, actually. Or. Uh, I really enjoyed, what? I really enjoyed the videos. I really enjoyed watching them. And uh, I, I read a bunch of you guys' comments, and I do think we've got a wonderful family. There was a time, oh, about three years ago, Matt came into town, and we were worshiping down in the basement of our church because upstairs was getting some renovations. Matt made some uh, uh, signal with, with my pastor <laughs> that during the beginning of service that he could come on down and surprise me. And uh, Matt came on down, and... I caught up and I just couldn't believe he was there, you know. <laughs> yeah, big and, surprise. Uh, you know, that wasn't the Santa Claus one. You know, Matt has surprised me so many times. And I know that I've said thank you to him many times in my own way. You know, Matt picked up here. Uh, he was on a ride. Uh, he was just basically getting started, getting all your equipment and getting ready to go. And he got a call and next thing I know, he's home. Your home, man. Next thing. Yeah, yeah. That deserves a real, real sign of appreciation. I know that you appreciate it, but, you know, thank you. Thank you, Matt. You know, no thanks needed, Pops. I, I know that. But, you know, you, you dropped everything for me. and uh, But that's what makes us the family that we are. 
and I'm I'm thankful for you. Um, I you know I got the best son. I just got, he's he's okay. Yeah, yeah, he's okay. <laughs> a couple of things that I wanted to comment on. Your comments um, were just wonderful. Really? Aren't they amazing? They were amazing. Overall. Overall. Overall, really beautiful comments. Very, very, you know, um, I saw a lot of, lot, of, lot of brother Christians out there, and I heard you, and I appreciate you, and I thank you for your prayers. But your comments were wonderful, and they were heartwarming. Just, I thank you for them. I thank you, the thanks to the nation of Jayo. It used to be Yayo, but my, <laughs> my son corrected me. I don't know why, but my dad adopted some sort of a Norwegian accent and softened his J. <laughs> Yayo. 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 One, one question, if we're doing a Q&A right now, yeah. one of the questions some, a couple of people asked, why do you have the mark on your face and why do I have the mark on my forehead? Thought maybe we got into a fight. Yeah, we did. I, we did. I was carrying an I-beam with my tractor and uh, Matt was trying to take it off of the tractor. And it had fallen off the tractor and I kind of grabbed it. Got and it's just... It's abrasive. It's gr it yeah. was rusty. It was a rusty steel bar. Barely hit it. it He's so it. soft. His skin is like a baby. Like a baby spot him. <laughs> and in mine, Dad has a has a low lying ceiling, and I walked like a little um, overhang over his grill, and I walked right into it. You know, I used to the tall guys walking around this house like me. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Did you get that message I sent you in in the uh, messenger from Sam? He wrote that r really long message. I don't know. I don't know. I actually sent you a... Uh... Hey, Sam. Thank you. Thank you. That was a wonderful letter. Ten minutes of uh, reading aloud. And it was really heartfelt. And it illustrated a bunch of points. We all, we all live through this life. We all have a starting point. We all have a finish line. And what do we do in between those two points? Um, uh, are we wasting our time? Uh, are we living every moment like it's our last? We're not all dealt the same cards, but we are all dealt the same opportunity in a, in a sense. We can make the best of every moment that we have. Sam, you said uh, that you don't know why, but you look at Matt as a brother. Well, we are all brothers and sisters in a sense. We live on this earth for me, I have a family in Christ. Um, I'm brother and sister with any other Christian in any other part of the world. But Sam, I see you as a brother too because you cared enough to write. Uh, you love my son, you love my son, you love me, and consequently I love you. So Sam, thank you so much for writing. It, it, you know, your writing uh, required a response, so I thank you for that. And I, Matt, I thank you so much for being here, for coming out, stepping out of your comfort zone, and being here with your pops. This is pretty comfortable. I have a pretty big comfort zone. Amen. Amen. I can sleep on a tent under a tree, mm -hmm. or in another country, <laughs> yeah. or wherever, so. Or wherever. The D. The M. How's your pain today? I'm good. I'm good. Good. Um, yeah, so right. we, had, we had a really good morning. Now tomorrow, maybe I'll go out there for another few hours. They say we're gonna be getting some 50, some sunny 50 degree days here shortly. Oh, great. So. Matt's got a, uh, Matt has a reserved trike for me. Oh! There's a guy named Bruce, friend of the nation, he has two trikes, they're both electrically powered, and he invited me and my pops out to uh, do a few rides together. The great thing is they're electrically powered, so he doesn't have to do much work if he doesn't want to. He, you can adjust it, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. if you want to do more work. And it also will give me an opportunity to not only hang out with a friend that I've wanted to see for quite some time, but also get, get my feet around a, uh, uh, an electric uh, trike. So that's something to look forward to, something immediately to look forward to. Tomorrow I'm leaving for Ohio. I'm going to meet Than from a channel called Tidal Gardens. He raises some of the most beautiful coral I've ever seen in a, a greenhouse uh, on his property. I contacted him and, and I'm gonna go out there for a couple of days, so that should be fun. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna make the best of this time uh, together and also the best of this time for me. Uh, I think I'm, you know, I'll, I'll do a few of these little jaunts, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, whether you, some of them you'll be part of and some of them I'll just be gone for a weekend and then come back, you know? Mm -hmm. Time to explore the states a little while, maximize efficiency and enjoy life while we're here. So, okay, absolutely. Sounds good. Sounds good. The D. The M. The D. 
Remember, his caregiver page, I will leave that as a link below if you'd like to send him a, a, a message about maybe what you've learned from him or, 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 or anything. Just a little Jayo. That's cool as you, well. You could send my email address if you wanted to, man. Well, Sandy set up that caregiver okay. page. I okay. think that's yep. pretty right. pretty nice, you know? All right. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. okay. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. Cheers.